Hello everyone and welcome back to another Price CP Roblox tutorial. In our previous lesson, we have learned how to make a disappearing platform. As you can see here, this platform disappears on itself, on its own, and then it reappears. In this tutorial, we're going to make a change to our previous script so that instead of having the platform disappear and re reappear on its own, we're going to make it so that the platform only disappears when something is touching it. Today's tutorial is going to be about touch events in Roblox. To get started, let's go to our workspace, go to our platform, and open up the script that we had from the previous lesson. So here we have a very basic script which makes the part disappear and reappear and we have it inside a while loop, an infinite while loop, so it keeps doing that throughout the game. Now in Roblox, whenever a player or something touches a part, it automatically triggers a touch event. So it's going to be up to us to catch that event and tell the system what to do, what we want to do when something is touching the part. So let's go back to our script. In the first line here, we have defined a variable part that is referencing to our platform here. So part is our platform. Now to catch the touch event, when somebody is touching that platform, we're going to say part dot touch colon, and we're going to connect to a function. We can call the function disappear. So that's the name of our function. Now we're going to change. We're going to go up here and we're going to create that function. So to create the function, you're going to say local function. And the name of our function is disappear. All right. And I'm going to move this script inside my function. So now whenever, whenever the player or something touches my part, I'm going to call this function, right? And this is the script inside my function. So I'm going to move this in here. And I no longer need the while loop here because I don't want it to keep on doing the disappearing and reappearing of the, the part. So I'm going to remove the while here. I probably don't need to wait here too because when something or the player touches the part, I want the um the the the, the um, part to disappear immediately i don't want to wait for eight seconds so i i'm removing that as well this n was um from the while loop so we can remove this as well all right so let's take a look at what happened here when a player touches a part it's gonna call this function disappear which is my function up here so my function what it does is it's changing the transparency to one to make the part uh, not no longer visible and we're changing the can't collide to false so that the part now um, you can no longer stand on it so things cannot collide with that part anymore it, it, it is as if it's not there and there's one more thing we want to do is we want to change the part can't touch to false so now you can no longer touch the part. So even though you cannot collide with the part, you can still touch the part until you change the can't touch property to false. And now you can no longer touch the part. Now we're going to wait for eight seconds and then we're going to turn everything back on. So we're setting the transparency back to zero, can't collide to true. And we're going to set the can't touch back to true so that the part is back to the way it was before. Let me just remove the extra lines here and let's play and take a look. As you can see, the platform is not disappearing on its own anymore. It's gonna wait until somebody touches it or something touches it and then it disappears for eight seconds. There it goes. We're gonna give it eight seconds and then it should come back on its own. Maybe about, oh, there it goes. That was quick. All right, 
and then you can touch it again and it's going to disappear again. Now another way to define this function would be to put it in here. So instead of naming it disappear, I can just cut this whole chunk of code and I'm going to put it inside here. I don't even need the function name here. And here I'm just going to say function. And I don't need the function name here. All right, so this is another way to define your function and it should work the same. Let's take a look. It's not going to do anything until somebody or something touches it and then it disappears for eight seconds and then it's going to come back. Maybe let, let me run through it this time instead of instead of stepping on it. I'm going to run through it and it should do the same. There it goes. All right, everyone. So that's how you use touch events in Roblox. And if you are looking for some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, I would recommend going to our PriceCP Roblox YouTube channel, click on the playlist and go to our PriceCP Roblox Extreme Short Series. In this series, you find that the lessons are taught at a quicker pace. So it's probably not the best for new beginners, but for beginners with some experience in building like yourself, it's probably perfect for you. So give it a try, check it out. And until next time, happy coding.